Hello, I'm Frank Weiner, Vice President of Marketing for Wedge Networks, and with me is Mike Mason, Senior Business Development Executive for Phonoscope Lightwave. On behalf of both Wedge and Phonoscope Lightwave, I'd like to welcome you to this Proof of Concept Demo Showcase, hosted here at Gen 15 in Dallas, Texas. The purpose of this showcase is to illustrate the lifecycle services orchestration of security as a service delivered from the service provider cloud to the enterprise. In this scenario, Wedge's cloud network defense is acting as a representative cloud-based network security platform with NFV and SDN orchestration. And Phonoscope Lightwave is a representative broadband or internet service provider that is incrementally offering security as a service. Now this proof of concept demo highlights a scenario where the end user activates and drives the auto provisioning of security as a service delivered from the service provider's cloud network. We believe this represents a compelling new opportunity for service providers to deliver incremental value added services that generate more revenue and also a fantastic opportunity for enterprises to enjoy Fortune 500 caliber security as a service. This demo also represents a great showcase in illustration of many of the core concepts and objectives being sought for the third network under the leadership of the MEF and the industry at large. Now security as a service is provided as an inline service in this model, applying subscriber specific security policies to data to and from any authorized user with any device from any location. In the conventional scenario, Broadband service providers provide connectivity between the enterprise and upstream internet, data center, or third-party service providers. Increasingly, the concern of these broadband users is the growing number and the complexity of the security threats associated with the connectivity to the internet and the worldwide network. What these end customers would like is the ability to go to an online web portal where they can go in and self-select services and have the selection of those services automatically reconfigure the network to immediately begin providing those services on their behalf. Of course, we want that same capability to be provided to all broadband customers in the service provider network. So let's take a look at this from the user experience, beginning with logging into a customer portal. So when they want to sign up and register for the service, they'll go online and create an account. Once an account is created, they'll be presented with a menu selection of the various security functions and services that are available. Now the menu might provide an a la carte model as illustrated in this demonstration, or it might represent one or multiple predefined packages that are available to the subscriber. In either scenario, they'll be able to go in and activate and as needed deactivate any of the service features or functions provided through that portal as well as going in and customizing certain features such as data loss prevention in this scenario where we're highlighting the option to block the ability for credit card or social security number information to leave the network. Another example would be the selection of web filter criteria where you may choose to block access to certain web content such as gaming or gaming related websites. Moving on, what's happened is the network is now provision the service and automatically begun applying the security policies on behalf of that customer. Next we see a scenario where an employee of that customer has gone online possibly during a break and decided to play some online cards. In this case that end user went to a website that has a known virus associated with it and so the website was blocked and the user was presented with this screen highlighting the fact that access was denied and the reason it was blocked. Alternatively, this customer may have gone to another site that had no virus associated, but access to that website was blocked because of the web filtering rule that was enforced by their system administrator. Now at Wedge, we believe delivering security as a service is obviously essential but not sufficient. We need to go beyond that and make sure we provide a user interface for the system administrator that gives them the same visibility and control as if they had gone out and purchased their own system and installed it and operated it themselves. So here we're highlighting portal access to an administrator at the subscriber's location where they can go online and be presented with a dashboard that would be appropriate for, in this example, an enterprise customer. 
Now what this dashboard is highlighting in this scenario is some of the websites and the web visit activity that's occurring throughout the course of the day. Now in this graphic what we see are some of the larger portions of that usage pie are fortunately allocated to business related websites and web activity. However, as you scroll along and look at the broader variety of websites that are visited, we see that employees are actually visiting not just business sites, but possibly social networking, online shopping, news, sports related sites, etc. Now in this scenario, none of those sites are blocked, but we do want to give that network administrator visibility to the amount of bandwidth that's being allocated for visits to that type of content. Now we also want to give a simple dashboard view that summarizes the threat landscape that that administrator's network is encountering. Of course, the dashboards may differ depending on the business model for the customer receiving the security of the service. In this scenario, we're highlighting the view that a school administrator might see if they want to look at the web activity that's occurring on their web services as encountered by both their employees and their students that are increasingly accessing the web as part of their educational experience. In this scenario, they might have a greater concern about web filtering and increasing compliance objectives as required by their schools and governing bodies. Of course, that administrator will also want visibility to the same types of information and attributes that a normal business administrator would want, so all of that information has to be available through that view. Now Wedge wants to go beyond the basic parameters of providing information on what has happened. What we're increasingly focused on, and with our recent announcement of Wedge IQ, we're putting more energy into the visualization of massive amounts of information into more consumable and actionable formats. For example, in this bubble chart, what we're actually seeing is the correlation or the relative level of activities in the severity of those activities associated with specific IP addresses from both a source and destination perspective, where the size of the circle and the colors indicate both the frequency and severity of the threat. In this next visualization, we're actually seeing a multi-dimensional view of the threat landscape, where different dimensions of web-related events are mapped along the perimeter of the circle, and specific events and associated IP addresses are represented by circles within that, again with the relative size to indicate the frequency of event activity, and showing the relative frequency of occurrence as they relate back to the, the various threat categories along the perimeter. Again, the concept here is to begin to take volumes of information and visually represent it in a manner so that the administrators can figure out what are the most important threats both in terms of frequency and in terms of severity. We believe that providing this kind of information will make those security as a service customers more confident and assured of the protection they're receiving and their ability to meet their business objectives without having to procure and manage their own equipment on their own behalf. So let's take a closer look at how cloud network defense works in this case, a service chain of security VNFs are applied according to each of the subscriber's selected policies. We're also applying elastic cloud computing to address the varying loads that are required on a security platform between a normal steady state environment and during periods of peak activity. For example, here we're seeing a typical enterprise customer who's online driving their business, which is really what their business is about. But periodically what happens our various attacks, such as highlighted here with a denial of service attack, threaten their ability to conduct day-to-day -day business. Now with conventional security approaches, a denial of service attack might be blocked at the firewall at the edge of the, of the enterprise network. And while that might prevent the attack from coming in and actually making it to their servers, it still renders their business highly impacted because of the loss of connectivity and bandwidth due to the traffic associated with the attack that's occurring on that broadband connection. Now a far better approach would be to address and shut off that attack much further upstream so that the broadband service and connectivity to the network goes on unimpeded. Now when this type of activity occurs in a cloud environment such as with Wedge Cloud Network Defense, what you'll find is 
the CPU utilization associated with the security platform increases dramatically when events like this occur. With conventional hardware-based security platform approaches, you have to buy hardware and dedicate it to it, whether the capacity of that platform is being utilized or not. In a cloud environment, such as with Wedge Cloud Network Defense, the instances of virtual machines that are allocated to support the security function are increased when required and freed up when they're no longer required, allowing the network operator to reallocate those resources to other applications and functions throughout their broader operations and achieve both better economies and simultaneously achieve superior performance by bringing those resources to bear when conditions warrant. So in conclusion, what we're demonstrating in this proof of concept showcase is that security is a very critical component of any broadband service offering. And the security must be as agile, assured, and orchestrated as the service is being delivered. Now to achieve this, we believe you should employ the same third network attributes of lifecycle services orchestration with SDN and NFV for the security applications as well as for the broadband services themselves. By doing so, we believe security as a service represents an incredible opportunity for enterprise customers to enjoy what was historically only available to the very high-end Fortune 500 enterprise network operators, making it available to a much wider range of enterprises at a fraction of the cost, and it's also a tremendous opportunity for the service providers to deliver this security as a service in this framework and environment. So once again, I thank you for your time and attention. I hope this has been an informative and hopefully thought-provoking demonstration of security as a service, and we invite you to come and visit us for more information. Thanks and have a great day.